What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another Warwatch video. Today we are checking out the brand new Whiteout drone. We're going to talk about what chips to install on it, uh, which robots you should put on it, how to use it, and all that really good stuff. So if you get within 100 meters of another player, it's going to start to EMP that player and it's going to damage them every time the pulse goes off. Now, it doesn't do a huge amount of damage, but over time if you're running a tank like this, it's just gonna set there and pulse, pulse, pulse. So anytime you get within 100 meters of the enemy, this thing will just pulse every four seconds. When it does EMP somebody, it lasts for three seconds. It does have a 100 meter range, and every time it does a little pulse, it also does 8,000 damage, which is actually pretty good, especially if you're fighting like something that's a little more squishy, or even a tank. That's just a lot of extra damage over time, so that's, not bad guys, not bad. Now the on high damage fix percentage chip will do 48% healing, which is huge. And right next to it, you see the on high damage fix, and that does not have the percentage sign. That does 95,000 health back. So on a tank, you want the one with the percentage, okay? See the little percentage sign right there? On tanks, you're gonna run that. On squishy bots, you're going to run the one without the percentage sign. And then we also have the mild damage fix, which does 30,000, and the mild damage percentage fix, which does 18% of your health back, okay? So the percentage, tanks, non-percentage, squishy bots. So every time we hit that healing module, we're going to get over 50% damage resistance, plus... We're going to get 48 and 18 percent healing coming in on different times now you can run two of the 48 percenters you can run two of the 18 percenters but you know everybody's not going to have the same exact chips i mean some of you guys might but those are the ones you want to run if you can get them now the next question is which robots do i install these on now Anything that teleports to the enemy is going to be really, really good or any type of brawling robot where you're going to be right up in people's face, you cannot beat that guy. So something like your Scorpion or your Revenant, those both teleport in. The meter, it teleports. You know, if you see an enemy and he's fighting one of your teammates, you can teleport to your teammate. Bam, EMP it. Um, cap free. You can use that for a really good brawler. It's very nice to have on any type of up close in your face brawler or any type of teleporting robot. So today we've got it set up on Scorpion and we got it set up on the Revenant and the cap freeze. And let's go play a game and check this thing out in action. All right, so we got the factory map. Let's go ahead and drop in with our Scorpion and we're going to give him a nice little whiteout. Ah, uh, my keyboard's in the wrong spot. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and move on over this way. Unfortunately, none of our teammates are coming to the most important beacon except for me, and there's not much I can do here. So we're going to go in. We're going to hit these guys really hard. Bam, 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 bam. Kumaho, and we're going to get the heck out of there. Now, they got EMP'd, which is really good, but uh, we're a squishy little scorpion, guys. Our teammates did not go after the most important beacon, and that is a very bad thing. We need that beacon, and we need it now. Yes. All right, we got one. We got one. So we're going to go on ahead and just come on in here. Little Kumaho, we'll see you later. Thank you. And we're just going to go ahead and hang out right here for a minute. We need to grab this. We need to grab this. We're probably going to die, so I'm going to hit my healing right now. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. At least he's going to get EMP'd, so the shell is not going to be able to blast us with his ability. Now, it's only going to last for a couple of seconds. You know, after a few seconds, he will be able to use it, which is not good. But we're going to do our best. We're going to do our best, right? Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. We're going to teleport out and confuse him. We're almost ready to use our, uh, someone. Ah, poops. All right, so we got to come back in with the Revenant. Now, unfortunately, we are uh, we are falling behind, but our te team still has a great chance to make a comeback. I don't know why I was the only person who went over towards the one beacon here, because this is the very first beacon you want to get on this map. You always want to try to grab this one first. 
Always grab this one first, guys. It's very important to get this particular beacon on this map. Whoever controls this one generally ends up winning the game. Now, one thing is, if you're uh, at the start of the game, you don't necessarily have to have all three beacons. As long as you can hold two for the majority of the uh, first half of the game and then take control of the uh, third beacon a little later, you're all good. But you really want to try and get a hold of all three as quickly as possible. All right, we're going to go ahead and teleport in. So he just got uh, EMP'd and destroyed. But right now, we're going to have to go check out what's going on with our beacons because it looks like we might be losing some. All right, they've got a luchador out already. All right, we got all our beacons back. We're good. We're going to go after this Titan, right? He he's going to get the big old EMP here. Why did my ability not work? That's weird. We're going to give him the mothership. And I'm in a really bad spot. I'm locked down. There we go. And they're trying to steal our beacons. So we're going to come on in here. We're going to EMP these dudes. We're going to try and take on this luchador. We need to get him off of the battlefield. He's got a shield. So let's switch to this guy for a minute. We'll at least last stand this one. And yeah, let's go ahead and bring our Kepri in. Funny thing is, this guy is such a good brawler. All right. Come on, teammate. Get on over there and get some kills. Get him, get him, get him, get him. We're going to burn these dudes up with the fire. All right, we got a Nightingale up. You don't see them too often anymore. Am I on the beacon? No, let's get on it. No, he's too, too far away. All right, so we're getting control of the third beacon again, which is very important. And we're going to go ahead and mothership that guy. Oh, wait. Never mind. I did it again. I have the healing mothership. Not the, uh, not the attack mothership. So let's go ahead and use our ability. The Erebus is kind of a threat. Those things are always dangerous. So we want to make sure we get rid of him quickly. If we can, let's get inside of his shield. Um, in a second, we're going to use our healing because we're taking a little damage now. And I've been EMP'd, so they've been EMP'd, I'm EMP'd. Let's womp on these guys. That is a tough Erebus, man. They got a Titan back here. Oh, goodness gracious. How in the heck did he heal? Oh, wait. That's the different robot. We got a Loki. We got this guy. I want that Loki. Nope. He saw I was about to target him, so he went into his ability. There's a kid Titan. Look how tanky this thing is, guys. Plus, we're, we're suppressing everybody. Titan Slayer. All right, so right now, we need to grab some more beacons. So let me get my healing and my shield. We're going to get rid of this Titan, and then we're going to go run for some beacons again because, unfortunately, we are missing some beacons. All right, so we got to go get something quickly. We're going to go after this one. It's pretty much right there, so there's no reason not to grab that. Let's torch that guy real fast. Maybe we can take him out. All right, we're going to use our ability to get some extra speed. And that guy left the beacon. That's a big mistake. He should have stayed there. And oh, crap. Never mind. His buddy came to save the day. I was going to stay. He, he should have stayed there and defended this beacon so we couldn't have t taken it. But uh, unfortunately... A big old nasty titan spawned in. And they got a Sharenga back there as well. So we don't want to get hit by that Sharenga. All right. We're going to stay right here. We're going to do our best to stay alive for a minute. And maybe if we're really lucky, we'll take this guy down. But yeah, our team needs to get one more beacon really fast. Uh, what do I got left? All right. I'm going to bring on my other rev. Perfect, perfect. There's one guy over there defending that beacon. We're going to go ahead and smash these dudes really quick. I'm going to teleport over to these guys. Unfortunately, I think he went to the wrong direction. Cool, cool. That's where we wanted to go, sort of. We're going to hit our healing module. We're going to go ahead and just get up here. Right now, we're missing all these rounds. But as soon as we get close, we don't have to worry about reloads with this. We're going to go ahead and hit our uh, mothership to get some extra healing. 
Now, I should be EMPing all of these guys since I'm right next to them. Which is cool because temporarily they can't heal or use abilities or nothing while that's happening. So, it's a really big help, actually. Alright, we're going to finish off this pesky Minos once and for all. We're going to grab this beacon back. And we got three. We got three. I want to take the one down there if I can. There's a Hades. Check it out. Mr. Hades in action. That is uh, not a good setup on your Hades, dude. I don't know what he's doing. But yeah, that's not how you run a Hades. I guess he's trying to build a sniper Hades, which it would work on some maps, but not really on a beacon game. Don't run those kind of setups on a beacon game, guys. Probably won't do you very good, honestly. Alright, we're going to go ahead and kill this little harpy if we can. Oh, crap, we've only got one little weapon left. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll do as much damage as we can until they kill us. Now, right now, I'm distracting these guys. Oh, wait, my whole team's back here. Alright, cool, we won, we won, nice. That was a good game. Anyways, you guys got to see that drone in action. It's an awesome drone. If you guys can get some of these, definitely go for it. I'm telling you right now, these drones are popping out of there like crazy. People are people are opening the crates right now, and these drones are popping out of the crates. So, man, I know a lot of people have recently got one. And the cool thing about a drone is when you get a drone, you don't have to level it up. You just have to install some chips on it, and it's good to go. So, if you've got one of these, any type of brawling robot, anything that teleports in, I'm telling you, put that drone on it, use it. It's going to be a giant help, honestly. So, yeah, very, very cool drones. All right, so hopefully that gives you a good idea of how to use the drone, which robots to run it on, which chips to put it on, and all that good stuff. And, hey, if you enjoyed this video, maybe watch one of these other ones that are going to pop up on the screen and check out the little recorded message I got for you. Thanks for watching. If you really want to help your favorite YouTube channels out, always hit that like button and subscribe to their channels, share their videos with your friends, and if you have the time, watch the videos till the end. YouTube pays attention to all of those stats and those will really help your favorite YouTubers out. Thanks for watching. You guys are awesome.